hello welcome back today i wanted to give you a quick update of where i am at and interesting things that have been happening so the first thing is i've like you know i've been upset like uh, on personal stuff and my friend from college one of my best friends came to town and it, it, it is so awesome so she came in she knew i was having a hard time she didn't understand what was going on at home and i haven't tell a lot of people because they won't understand unless they see the situation so she was just like what so sometimes you think you're going through a lot uh, especially you're like am i exaggerating am i drowning on a glass of water maybe i just feel overwhelmed because of the way things are going or whatever you know like you you question yourself how much of a big trouble how much of a big deal this really is versus my emotion of of it and uh, i'm glad i got to talk to a few people this week because i kind of started opening up opening up a little bit more and looking for some guidance and people that could help and <laughs> my friend told me is a lot and it was so cute when when she left i found this in my computer um that she left me to feel better so we cried together we had a great time mostly i dedicated my time to her and like spending time talking things through and having support so that was uh, invaluable but um i wanted to also tell you that i started therapy um so this is mental therapy but it's in relation to what's going on in the house and um, we have a consultant I told you that so we have a consultant and the health consultant uh, basically said you know you all need individual therapy and you need um, this and this and this, you know so I'm just kind of fight following that and it is in relation to that situation not necessarily in relation to cfs but i guess what i i'm trying to say is when we are so self-absorbed and other things happen just because you have cfs it's not like people are not gonna die around you things are not gonna happen around you and one of the things that i discovered is that i was so spent um through the journey by the time i came out of it i was so spent like i had nothing to give i gave everything i had to cfs recovery and just survive in the past 15 years so coming in empty to a bad situation is not the best place to be at so that was a lesson learned maybe i should have looked for help uh, back in the day for C not necessarily cfs but the implication of cfs um because it changes your life it changes everything and it's a lot like once you get out of it <laughs> you go and you're like holy shit that happened how did i do it you know and even though i'm the kind of person that usually go through a tough situation and then like i don't deal with emotion in the moment like i'll deal afterwards um things happen and um that was one of the things I wanted to bring up to you as an experience learned or as a lesson learned is you cannot get to the point of being on empty emotionally because things will happen. And unfortunately, if you are part of a family, far, part of a community, part of an ecosystem, you have to be able to give support back to those of you that gave it to you and being able to be placed in a high stressful situation and having the tools to deal with it and i was not at a I, I don't think i was and and it wasn't that I, you see me very centered very good it's not that i was in a bad place per se it's just that i i was i mean you know what i'm saying like i just got out of this situation and i'm like i want to live life i want to travel i want to do this i want to do that i kept a notebook with the list of things i wanted to do once i get out of cfs and that this situation happened, it's like, no, no, I'm not going to be homebound again. 
um, I want to travel. I want to do this. I want to like, I want to see my friends. I want to see my family. And it's like, um, this gel again. And it's like, uh, uh, I can't. And it's not that I don't love everybody. And it's not like, it, it's just that you are mentally and emotionally in a different place. So lesson learned is throughout your journey, you have to be centered. You have to be strong. And you have to work with the emotions as they come and go. Or maybe my approach wasn't the wisest because life will happen. And you better be ready. And you better be prepared for somebody suddenly died. Um, like it happened in our family. Uh, today's a year, by the way. I, I, I'm not letting... Well, anyways. Um, it's a year and it's been a tough day. Um, trying to keep everybody going to the cemetery. Anyways. You know it will happen people people will die people will get sick people will get cancer around you um people will get other things that are even more challenging and you have to be in a place where you can support all those that supported you or you know just be there and having to deal and having to survive and cfs takes more of you and your family trust me whether they understand or not than you realize um so that's something i learned after getting out of that anyways i had a viral reactivation so let me back off a little bit when my friend before my friend came here i started having a rash and i'm pretty sure at this point that is a kwasaki reactivation so i had i've been dealing with this rash in my face very itchy. I noticed that in my hand, my hand was really itchy, it's itches, itches really bad. And I had it in my feet. So hand mouth disease, right? And I had um, in the roof of my mouth, little balls. And that's kind of how I know it's kind of, if I put my tongue and pass it on, it feels like little, little, little tiny balls. And that's how I know I have a Kwasaki reactivation. So I might order some I forgot what those are called, Equi equivalent, um, or uh, my do nothing. I think at this point the rash is over and I'm dealing with the dryness of it all, like the, the rash kind of subsiding a little bit. But if I start, uh, start having the little balls again, itchy bumps um, in my hands or my feet, I will go ahead and order some equivalent but um, i'm watching that situation so as my friend left I, I was eating kind of garbage not really i was eating little because i'm going for the first time in my life i don't have appetite um i don't know if it is because i've been so upset um and with everything that's going on or if it is because of the shot that i've been having for the losing weight situation i have no clue what's going on but I've never been in my life without appetite, even when I've been doing the diet that the nutritionist gave me. It's a first in a lifetime situation. I don't even know. I was like, wait, wow, this is awesome uh, in a way. But I am struggling with um, appetite. And again, I have a Kosaki reactivation, so who knows what's going on with me. Um, my HRV has been really low. I've never seen it in a three and then a two. So that's new to me. Um, I took a day off today of work and I am recovering. So my number today was an eight. So I'm back and, you know, back and running. But um, I, it was very emotional. I had a lot of crying and, you know, we talked about her stuff, my stuff. And it was a very emotional weekend. I was spent, it felt like I got a lift off of my shoulders sharing that but at the same time i was also really spent um so i don't know if the hrv was the kwasaki the, the eating bad the non-sleeping that's another thing my mask was leaking again i hate this CPAP. it's a new like the new CPAP versus what i used to use for five six years um it's, it's, it just leaks constantly it's a new problem every time so i just freaking hate i think i have the phillips one now i just hate it um so that was happening um i saw the last like again i sold it i'm sleeping well again having good numbers um 
so that's all that is going on there's a lot a lot happening um i might have to take some time between all the therapist meetings um the consultants it all the meetings that we have to have on a personal level is taking a lot of my time so if i don't post it's just that i'm too busy keeping the house running and keeping everybody um, all of us working together towards the same goals and just surviving here is taking a big toll um, so anyways that's what i am at i hope this is helpful thank you so much for watching if you haven't please subscribe and receive